So you have written on the, uh, you know, the date of the letter, that's fine. And then the address is details that are okay. And then you have, so in this case, uh, Subiyoko can be removed and then re uh, entered in the next line, okay? So, um, Subiyoko, move this phrase. But sir, they mentioned yeah. it's the same like. Sorry? Uh, they didn't put any comma between it. I know that, but this, you know, like you, you know, you have got the street number and then the street name, isn't it? So between the street name and then the, um, you know, the suburb, you need to have one line in between. I mean, you have to write down the suburb in the next line. Don't write down okay. all these three things in one line itself. It is not good. It doesn't look good. Okay. Okay. Sir. All right. Let's go to the next one. DSR slash madam. That's all right. Mr. Stephen Mabel, aged 39 years. Okay. You don't need to use aged 39 years. It's not needed. Just only aged 39. That's it. Aged 39 years. Please remove years from here. So it's sometimes it's uh, like a baby or is five yeah, days. Then, or then you need to mention. So. Yes. Yes. Then you need to mention. Okay, for babies, okay, the, the newborn babies or someone, you can use aged five days, that's all right, or aged five weeks, for example. For that, you have to write it down. But for, uh, you know, the years, you don't need to mention years after that. Do you understand? Okay, sir. All right, let's go to the next one. I'm writing this letter on behalf of uh, patient, uh, Mr. Stephen Mabel, Mabel's wife, Mr. Mabel. Okay. I'm writing this letter on behalf of Mr. Mabel's wife. Okay. So he, what you could have mentioned is you don't need to use patient here or you don't need to write down the full name here. Okay. Let me write down what I need to do on behalf of, okay. On behalf of patient, Mr. Stephen Mabel, is it Mabel? Okay, Mabel's wife, okay. Instead of that, what you could have done is on behalf of the patient's wife, you could have written down like this. Otherwise, you can say on behalf of Mr. Mabel's wife. Both of them are correct. So you can use any one of them. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Mr. Mabel requires a physiotherapist to improve his walking. It's not walking, but improve his walking ability. Improve his walking ability. So improve something. It could be an ability. Okay, she's so walking ability. Request okay. the therapist to improve his walking. So instead of writing down just his walking, you have to say his walking ability. That's what you got to write. Let's go to the next one. Socially, Mr. Stephen Mabel lives with his wife and has, uh, and has medical history of cerebro. No, no, no. You have to use and has a medical history of cerebrovascular accident, which occurred two years ago. That's all right. Okay. So socially, Mr. Stephen Mabel lives with his wife and there's a medical history of, and there's, has medical history. Okay. So you should have mentioned has a medical history of, and then cerebrovascular accident. Okay which occurred two years ago, that's good. As a result, his speech is slightly slurred and impaired. His speech is slightly uh, slurred. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. When you say his speech is slightly blurred, slurred, okay, that's fine. And then impaired walking. This, when, when you use and, okay, in between, this means this particular subject, that is his speech, Okay, he's going to be the common noun for both of them. Do you understand? His speech okay, is sir. impaired walking. That's wrong. 
So his speech is slightly slurred and his walking is impaired. Do you know what I mean? So you should have mentioned and his walking is okay. impaired. Yes. So instead of writing down and impaired walking, you could have mentioned and his walking is impaired. Okay, that's what you could have done. Okay, let me go through the next one. Last week, there should be a comma. Did you place a comma here? Yes. Sir. Good. Mr. Mabel was uh, fell down. Was fell down. No, that's wrong. Okay, was fell. That's wrong. It must be fell only. Fell. Yes, that's right. Fell. Just fell. Fall is the present verb and fell is the past verb. So just fell. Mr. Mabel fell from the stairs. Fell down the stairs. It's not fell from the stairs. It's down the stairs. Okay. Down the stairs. So the preposition isn't used appropriately. Down the stairs. Okay, again, the spelling mistake. Strays, that's wrong. So you have used it. Strays. Okay, let me write it down in the previous sentence itself. So you have used it. Yes, T-R-A-I-R-S. Yes. yes, stairs. It doesn't need any R in between. You can see that here, okay? And got injury on his right knee. Okay, that's good. Consequently, his uh, journal... Oh, journal. Okay, it's not gen, gen, journal. That's wrong. His GP, general practitioner, was contact. Oh, no, no, no. That's wrong. His journal. Okay, spelling mistakes. Okay, his general. Okay, so what you have mentioned is journal. Okay, sorry. Journal practitioner. So this is what you have written now. Practitioner, no, practitioner. Spelling mistake, general practitioner. Okay, so what you should have done is this is practitioner is wrong. So he's general practitioner. Don't use the capital letter here. Just the small letter is enough. And then the spelling mistake, general. It's gen G E N E R A L, general practitioner, P R A C T. I T I O N E R. Okay. Spell the words correctly, please. Because incorrect spelling is going to damage your score like anything if you commit so many mistakes. General practitioner was contact with our health agency. No, contacted our health. Okay, so was contact is wrong. Was contact is wrong. Okay, what did you write? Was contact our healthcare agency. Okay, so what you should have written on? Contacted. That's it. So his general practitioner contacted our healthcare agency for assisting him in shower and perform wound dressing. For assisting him, assisting. Okay, the spelling mistake again. See this one, unfortunately. Assisting. Okay, assisting is wrong. Assisting is not assisting, but assisting. Spelling mistake is one of the major problems in your writing. Unfortunately, that's not good. Okay. Assisting him in shower and uh, performing. Okay. Okay. See, look at this. The way you use, okay, for assisting him in shower, okay, and then you have to use similar kind of phrase in the second part as well. Don't use different, you know, like structure here. Here you have used a for and then verb plus ang, isn't it? For assisting, right? For and verb. Use the same thing here as well. For and verb plus ng. So okay. use, you know, just verb plus ng. You don't need to use for once again. You can say for assisting him to in shower and performing wound dressing. That's it. Okay. So and to perform. And to perform is wrong. And performing. And a wound dressing, sorry, dressing, so that you can say wound dressing, that's okay. Wound dressing is more than enough. You don't need to write down a wound dressing. 
O is not Nira. Article is not Nira here. Okay. Few days ago, uh, Mr. Mabel's wound site assessed, which revealed. Okay, Mr. Mabel's wound site was assessed. Because the wound site cannot assess itself, isn't it? It was assessed. So wound site assessed. Wound site was assessed. Okay, that's what we have to write down. Wound site was assessed, which revealed a good progress without infection. That's good. He was walking well with the help of his wife. That's also good. Today, Mr. Mabel was advised to use a walking stick for walking. Okay, for walking. All right. His wound examination has shown well healing. Healing. Okay. Showed healing. Well healing. Okay. All right. Um, showed. Uh, okay. Well healing. You don't need to show hell well healing. I mean, you, you have already mentioned the same thing here, isn't it? Wound revealed uh, good progress without infection. The wound, then why are you writing down the same again? Firstly, I mentioned the infection in this. I mentioned the healing. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. His wound examination has shown well uh, healing. Okay. All right. That's fine. Therefore, his wife requested for physiotherapy uh, to regain his mobility. Is it uh, requested physiotherapy? Is that physiotherapy sessions? Is it what you want to say? Is it physiotherapist or so? What do you want to say here? I couldn't get this one done. Is it the physiotherapy sessions? They, they just mentioned uh, write a letter to a physiotherapy center mm -hmm. on behalf of uh, Sandra requesting to home visit yep. to help her husband in walking properly. That's it. Okay. All right. In mobility. Okay. Good. All right. Requested for a physiotherapy. Okay. So instead of writing for physiotherapy, requested physiotherapy. Requested a physiotherapist. Okay. So far physiotherapy is wrong. You can say requested a physiotherapist. A physiotherapist. That's it. A physiotherapist to regain his mobility. Okay. Otherwise, what you could have mentioned is if you want to use maybe requested physiotherapy sessions. Physiotherapy sessions. Okay, you can also use this one. But this is also fine. Or, okay. You can say for uh, physiotherapy, you can use, instead of writing down for physiotherapy, you can say a physiotherapist or physiotherapy sessions. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. There's the next page. It's here. Okay. It would be highly appreciated if you could please help the mister. Oh no. Help Mr. Yeah. So Mr. Help the. Okay. Let's say. Help the Mr. Mabel. That's wrong. Help Mr. Mabel. That's it. Okay. To improve his walking. Okay, try not to use the same word again and again. His walking, his mobility. Try to use as many synonyms as possible. Please use synonyms in your letter instead of copying the same words from case notes. It's not good. If you don't use the same words, I mean, if you don't, if you do use the same words in your letter, it damages your score under vocabulary. It's not good. Should you have any question? It's not any question, but usually people may have more than one question. So you have to use questions. Any question? Sorry. 
that is any questions come up okay do not hesitate to contact me no you have to you have to always use polite phrases okay don't say do not hesitate to contact me but say please do not hesitate to okay you have to use please as well do not hesitate to contact me yours sincerely the senior nurse okay everything else is all good all right let me go through the assessment now okay grammar is one of the weakest areas you need to focus on sorry weakest areas you need to focus on that's the first thing you need to focus on okay and then spelling mistakes is another area spelling mistakes should have been avoided you shouldn't commit so many spelling mistakes use of articles nouns and verbs could have been better okay use more formal words and synonyms to get good score under vocabulary vocabulary is one of the important assessment factors so you have to use a range of words you can't just simply repeat the same words from the case notes it's not good all right that's not good um okay Yeah, many sentences are incomplete. Okay, many sentences are incomplete and incorrect. You need to write down the sentences correctly. Okay, use a range of sentence structures. Use a range of sentence structures, such as simple, complex, and compound, instead of using only the simple sentences. Okay. Organization of overall task fulfillment is below average it's not that good presentation and layout of the letter are fair enough okay you are able to give like you know spaces and things like that you are given blank lines between two paragraphs i'm happy with that um what else connectivity is okay as well Connectivity is okay. You are able to use many connecting phrases. That's all good. But use, you know, polite words whenever you have to write. Don't say, do not hesitate to contact me. Do, do, say, do write, please do not hesitate to contact me. Okay, that's what you have to use. Okay. And uh, yeah, you could have used more, uh, uh, you know, pacey wise. Okay, more sentences in the pacey wise. Um, you could have used pacey wise. Structure more frequently. Okay. okay. All right. Let me tell you the score. This sounds like that. Let me check the mistakes, severity of the mistakes, the number of mistakes. Articles are not used properly, so uh, nouns and verbs, uh, sentence structures are incomplete, and you didn't use, uh, you know, the, the prepositions correctly as well. That's not good. Spelling mistakes, grammar. Oh my God, that's so, there are so many mistakes. Okay, according to me, this sounds like a 
250 out of 500 grade a letter. I wish you good luck uh, with your next letter. Please go through the these things, okay? Firstly, because you need to identify these mistakes, okay? And then you have to prevent them from happening once again. 